Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about the championship decider that is going to happen this weekend. Now when I was sitting down thinking about a video I actually had a completely different video in mind but reading the comments which I always do um, on the podcast and on yesterday's video about Jorge Martin feeling the pressure I sense there's a lot of negativity around about boat riders actually and I was kind of uh a bit kind of confused about it because if I'm very honest, this has probably been one of the most cordial championship fights that I've ever seen, actually. I think last year's one was cordial also, but, you know, this time there's you know two rival riders on the same bike going for it. So it is a little bit different, like the battle w with Fabio Quadrero and Peco Bagnaia realistically you know neither could see their data neither could see what they're doing and and this time around it's different because it's an open book peko can look at his data he can look at peko's data and they can start making setting changes around that yes martin is definitely a sprint race rider yes peko banyaya is definitely a main race rider but you know if i do look at it you know there's a lot of talk around about was Jorge Martin's championship sabotaged, you know, and, you know, when he's coming out and saying, so I've lost the championship by a tire, they didn't beat me on the track. And all of this stuff just shows kind of how the pressure is getting to him. When you looked at Peko, you could see in the sprint race, especially in Qatar, you know, Peko knew he didn't have the pace to run it. Didn't moan, bitch, or get excited or start booking and weaving it even though his championship lead was cut in half you know he did say what he what he said he said you know it's it's um it basically it is what it is it's not nice to lose seven points but you, you could see that peko was thinking okay what, what am i going to do in the race the the next day and i did remark about this yesterday that peko seemed really really calm as if he found something and he knew and understood what he needed to do um and it was a, just a different mentality i suppose coming into the race but what i do find intriguing is that there is so much negativity about our about each rider do you know what i mean we don't like peko or some don't like martin and at the end of the day realistically you know there's not the bad blood between them, let's just say, like there was between Rossi and Lorenzo, Rossi and Marquez, you know, Rossi and Stoner, you know, all of these ones where there was literally a, a hate relationship and there was fans almost beating the shit out of each other because of their writers, you know. So it kind of surprises me that there's kind of a lot of people um, on the hate. I think whoever crosses the line first and wins the championship will be a, a, a most deserved winner and it's not because of anything else is that they did race each other ducati gave them the same equipment if you look at it jorge martin's bike is the exact same bike as peco's you know he changed from the the fairing or the side fairings that didn't have the teardrop it now does have the teardrop and this was very evident as well when uh, Peko was battling Bastanini as well for a time last year. Bastanini's GP21 had a lot of GP22 parts. So it had the Stegosaurus wings, it had the GP22 aero, it had the GP22 swing arm, all to battle against Peko. So when I look at it, Ducati, in my view, have been more than fair with the riders. I would have said, if anything, Ducati would not have wanted a GP22 beating a GP23, but the fact that both Peko and uh, Martin are on GP23s, if it is essentially a factory Ducati. So I don't think they're really going to care uh, which one crosses the line. Also, I don't think they really will care because, in essence, they have an excuse. Now, when Peko came off in Catalonia, you know, you could see his confidence was rocked for three or four races and you could see he was injured for three or four races and they can use that as an excuse all day long. So I don't 
believe the factory care who has done it. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. And this will be the last time that I ask this before the race on Sunday. Are you Team Peko or are you Team Martin? Which one is the winner? Definitely leave your winner in the comments below. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.